Hello, everybody. This is Trevor Truck, and we are back to Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, a game that I quite enjoy. Now, if memory serves, actually, the confirmation is right there. This game did come out in the year 2000, which makes it um, 21 years old, approximately. Uh, which, as a result, means that I am old. And that's not something that um, I want to admit. I don't want to feel old, but like, at the same time, the nostalgia of this game is nice. Um, I like that our friend Kirby can somersault. That's pretty cool with this power. Uh, let's see what else. Well, that should help me get through a lot of the level. Not only can I ride the drill, but I can also shoot it. Interesting. Um, I know what some of you may be thinking. That this game is just too easy. It's built, you know, for people who don't know what a video game is. I get that. But, uh, it does get more difficult um, the further that we go on. So, um, and plus, I have to say, this is something that I've noticed about myself. Um, I'm not really good at video games, I've realized. Um, sometimes games, especially platformers, like, like this one, they don't always come, uh, naturally to me. But, nonetheless, we're just gonna enjoy the game for what it is. Um, and this, what's happening right now is kind of like Indiana Jones. The sands are, uh, filling up. And actually, uh, there's a lot, there are a lot of traps, pitfalls. Uh, you really have to be kind of quick on the draw, you know? Um, and here I am just hoping that I, uh, that I don't mess it up. You know? It's kind of like, uh, you stole a treasure. And, uh, you know, in a temple, an ancient temple. And, uh, you know, the traps are set. thought there was an extra item over there, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, that's fine. So let's just continue. Pretend like, uh, nothing is wrong. Innocent creatures until you turn their back. You turn your back on them and they start to, uh, <laughs> become a lot less innocent. Right? Let's just, let's just fly away from all of that. Don't feel like dealing with it. Hmm, will I be able to get that delicious cake? No, but I got a green star with very rectangular eyeballs. Well, I guess they're not eyeballs if they're rectangular. Okay. Um, I think it is about time that we you know, give another power another try, because I don't want to have the same thing. Um, no. 
Lattice. This here is a pretty interesting power-up. I like it. Very versatile. Is that a good ASMR word? Versatile. Maybe. Um, I know some people like trigger words with their ASMR, so I can try a few trigger words. Let's start with versatile. 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 A little bit of inaudible whispering. Ooh, there's a sandwich. I love sandwiches. It's It's been a while since I've had, you know, just a good old-fashioned uh, sandwich. You know, with, with ham, cheese, and uh, some mustard. Yeah, that, that, that's a good lunch. Although, to be honest, you really shouldn't eat lunch meat too often, you know? A lot of uh, salt content, a lot of uh, ugly things that your body doesn't really need. Um, look at me lecturing everyone on health when I'm just playing a random... 21 year old video game. Alright. Well, let's continue this adventure. See what we can find. That was a really long, drawn out drop. We get a piece of cake. And let's see what else we can discover in this level. Now this is kind of interesting. Hmm. Very dark, very, uh, scary. Of course, you know me, I'm... I'm never gonna pass up a good one-up. Because I'm so bad at video games that, uh, I need all the extra lives that I can get, to be quite honest with you. So, continue on. We must. I'm just gonna say, you know, like, I'm not a video game uh, designer, you know, I've never really, um, <laughs> developed anything like this, but from a design perspective, I really like the background and just the overall feel and aesthetic of this game. It's just, it's pretty nice. I like it. So I feel like we're just exploring some uh, ancient temple. A place where we really shouldn't be. Uh, you know, like a forbidden place. It's fun. Um, and I hope that uh, you've been enjoying this game. I mean, this is honestly just a blast from the past. Um... <laughs> that was kind of cool. You know, just a blast from the past, and it's fun. You know? It's educational, too. Uh, how is it educational? I don't know. I really don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take a little stroll. some fun. Pretty sure that's fire. Ouch, that hurt. Ooh. Let's say I'm bored with that one. And get fire and electricity. Ooh, what is this gonna make? Oh, okay. So it's like a... <laughs> Very unusual, I have to say. That's very unusual. To be honest, I don't like that power as much. So now we get to play as the old uh, P 
penguin person. Oh wait, I can't get that. Hmm. I need to find a way to get that because I could use the uh, extra, extra health. I kind of like these little touches though, you know, again, I'm not a game designer, but I like these little, you know, extra features. Um, this is actually a, co a component of different Kirby games where, uh, it's not just Kirby doing the adventure, you know, some of Kirby's so-called friends help out. Um, so... This is one of those scenes in the game that are really fun because you get to play as this big, derpy penguin. And you have a hammer. I mean, quite honestly, what more could you ask for? Uh, so yeah, that's, it's, it's pretty fun. I don't know how many people watch and have played this game, or for that matter, even know what this game is, you know? But, uh, just for a frame of reference, you know, I was a kid of the 90s, and I grew up on the Nintendo 64, so a game like this would have been right up my alley. Uh, you know definitely would have been a game that I would have played a lot, and I did play it a lot. Um, okay, I thought that was a crystal for some reason. Never mind. Sorry. Let's just go ahead and find a way out of this place. But yeah, this is what a lot of Kirby games do. This is what a lot of them are like. Uh, I completely missed. I wanted to go for the, like, the unlockable trading card thing that they got going on there. Uh, I guess I completely missed. Okay, this power is not good. I want to get something better. I don't think I can steal powers from these enemies, though. We are really in some type of adventure. What about the Phoenix? I like it. It's kind of cool. My only question is, how do we get that crystal? There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to get uh, inside. I wonder how, though. I would probably need a different type of power. Hmm, there's gotta be a way. I don't know if you all feel this way about games where you have to collect things. Um, but, you know, with this game. I mean, I don't feel pressure to get it, but... Um would be nice. Okay, well, it might just be something I have to come back for uh, a little bit later. Right now, you know, this is an ASMR video, so I gotta, uh, gotta do what I gotta do, right? Alright, let's see here. Let's walk around and see what we're dealing with. We got stars. Okay, good. Um, I think I'm supposed to jump back up. Um, where else do I go? Somebody. Somebody help me. Okay. Maybe I was on the right path then. So, I'm supposed to be here. Am I supposed to just... Ah, oh, I, I see. Cool. I don't know why. 
I get so confused by these games, you know, as simple as they are. Anyway, this is most definitely a strange boss fight. It's like some type of, I don't know, icon I'm fighting against, like you see it on your des desktop screen. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a crystal. Definitely need to get that. So this is another thing that I like, is the perspective. Notice where the camera is. Like, I think that's kind of cool. This game was definitely, I think, advanced for its time. Or maybe that's just me being nostalgic. Hmm, I'm not sure if I've ever tried that combination, so it's like... Oh, ice skates. Oh, yes. The only problem is I feel like I don't have a lot of control over this power. Like, I really gotta... <laughs> I've gotta be graceful here. But, I will say, I am plowing through everything, so I guess that's good. Alright. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, this is like a... It's like a Halloween level in some ways. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be swimming. We are officially under the water. I think I'm just gonna have to... Uh... <laughs> Kirby? Are you okay? Are you a little bit bloated? Trust me, I feel that way after a nice Thanksgiving dinner. Like, bloated. Uh... Okay. Let's go through. Let's see what we got going on here. More stars. I wonder if the water temperature is like cold. Maybe, maybe I'm weird for wondering those things, but I don't know. I get the impression that the water is freezing cold. So I want to get out of here. Uh, as soon as I can. Well, like usual, um, very good level design. I can appreciate that. Alright, everybody. I am gonna go ahead and stop the episode right here. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope it's a game that you can get into just as much as I have. But I think this is a good cutting point, so uh, I am going to stop for the day. Um, and hopefully I will be back with more Kirby 64 content. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every view. And until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>